Alright, this is Moose here showing you our um, one third horsepower, six amp fused hand auto off or HOA contactor. Uh, got your three selector push button switch, uh, color hammer, uh, test or hand off and auto. Uh, green light comes on in either test or auto if the coil is energized. Uh, GE pilot light, cutler hammer, three position maintain switch. Um, we've got the Allen Bradley contactor. This here is a uh, contact block so you can remove the, uh, the wiring harness. Uh, we've got two fuses for our two different incomings. I'll move over to here for a little close up here. Uh, basically what we have is we have this right here is our line side coming in 110 volt it's marked right here this one right here is our signal 110 volt fused this is coming off the PLC contactor this is for our neutrals this is for a common neutral this will be the motor neutral the line side neutral and the signal neutral. They all have to be matching off the same panel. And we have our ground stud and we have three connectors for three grounds. Uh, normally closed auxiliary, normally open auxiliary. And of course we've got three poles. We're only using one pole for the moment on this configuration. Uh, and we have a connector for your hot going out to your motor. Uh, this is the bottom of our contact block where all our power comes over and into. This here is just uh, an auxiliary uh, contact. Uh, we're just using it as a bookend right now. And to show you why we did it this way, it's so tight in here, we have it so that you can remove this block. See that block right there? You're going to pop that off and then this sets down in and you can screw it in. So you can remove it, drill your holes, put your wires in, put your connectors in. So we have a label right there which tells you the, what neutrals go on this block, which is the motor neutral, the line neutral, and the signal neutral. Uh, when you get everything drilled in place and your wires ready, you can drop this in. And remember, we gave you the connectors the terminal lugs, the connectors already here, everywhere you needed a terminal lug, so you can just push your terminals right on once you put this back in the box. And then this comes over, kind of hard to do it one handed, but it snaps in place. It can only go one way, snaps in place, and now your controls are hooked up. Uh, and if you ever need to service it again, there's a little tab right there you have to click in, pull that out, and then you can pull the unit out and work on it, do whatever you need to do. Uh, it's just a little tight in a 6x8 box, uh, but it works. See how the door closes and it curls around in there? Uh, works pretty good. Uh, we added a little insulator right here. Uh, these screws yeah, we we're just a little scared. They were a little too close, so we put it on a uh, uh, self-adhesive uh, insulating strip right there, just to make sure nothing happened. Uh, if you got any questions, just give me a call. Uh, this is Moose Moose Trading.